How to Paint Your Pet's Portrait. This is a tutorial on how to paint an awesome painting of your pet without having any background in art. Supplies. What you'll need to complete this project is a canvas, a printout of your pet, a dark graphite pencil, acrylic paints, and paintbrushes. Step 1. Choose an image and prepare the background. Print out your image on your computer and make sure that the image fits to the canvas that you're going to be using. For our project, we're using Kiko and Splash. Now you want to prepare the canvas. If you just paint onto a canvas, the paint doesn't go on very smoothly, so you want to do two layers of paint. Lay the paint down and then paint little rows of X's while the paint is still wet. The point of this is to get rid of any blobs. You can use the blow dryer to dry your painting faster. You want it dry to touch before you do your next layer. Now to mix the colors for the background. We both made a background of three basic colors using yellow, burnt sienna, orange and white, and a tiny bit of blue to tone down the color. The lighter color was achieved by adding more white and the darker color by adding more blue and brown. Here we are blending the colors together while the paint is still wet. This same technique was used in the background of Kiko's painting, except this time the lighter color was applied in a diagonal line across the painting, and the colors are a little brighter because more yellow was added. Make sure the backgrounds are completely dry before you go to the next step. Step 2. Transfer your image to the canvas. If you have absolutely no skill with drawing, you can create a transfer by coloring in the back of your image with a graphite pencil, something like H6 or higher. Once you've done that, take some paper and wipe it down so there aren't little grits of graphite on your canvas. Then tape your image onto the canvas where you want it to appear. Now take a pen and outline your image. For my image of Splash, I want it to be like a paint by number, so I'm drawing a line around different areas of color. Keep in mind, the lighter your background, the easier it will be to see the graphite lines. Step 3. Get painting. For Kiko's portrait, my friend is outlining Kiko and painting in the basic colors of Kiko's body before he goes back and fills in the detail. He's mixing blue and red to make purple, adding some white, and filling in the form of Kiko with the purple. You want to do two layers of paint for your dog's body so that the background color doesn't show through. You can either use the same color twice or a different color. Wait till it's dry or blow dry your painting, then put the stencil back on top to fill in all the details. For Kiko's painting, there aren't going to be any lines, it's just going to be blocks of color. This is the easier of the two methods if you have problems painting fine lines. Here he's mixing burnt umber, burnt sienna, and white to create a Kiko color. To make the inside of the ear color, alizarin crimson, burnt sienna, and white make a very good color. You can add white, more white for highlights and blue for shading if you were to get that obsessive. Once you've painted in all the sections, you can add as much or as little detail as you want. As you can see, having the underlayer show through makes the image look less flat. Back to Splash. For Splash's portrait, we're using a different method. Paint over all the graphite lines with one color. You don't want to use black because black can be too dark and too dominating. So I'm using a mixture of ultramarine blue, burnt sienna, and white. You can be as creative as you want. You can use hot pink for your outline if you wish. You can also fill in all the colored areas with any color that you wish. But for my portrait, I'm going to fill in all the white areas of Splash's coat with a mixture of white and ultramarine blue. I'm using a mixture of blue, brown, and white to make the gray areas on Splash's coat. For her different colored eyes, I'm using light blue and light brown. For the black areas, I'm going to use a darker mixture of the blue and the brown. The tongue is similar to the ear, alizarin, crimson, and white with a tiny bit of brown. If your background looks dull, you can add a little bit of flair with a wash. Basically, you just add a lot of water to a paint and then you can rub it on with either a sponge or as I'm using here, a piece of paper towel. As a final touch, I added a little hint of white on the highlighted areas of Splash. 
Kiko found this very exciting. And here's the final result. The two portraits done in two different styles. Okay, YouTubers, I'd like you to post a video response of the painting that you do using this tutorial along with the photo that you used or footage of the dog. I want to see how many people actually were able to follow this technique. And if you were, then I might post videos on how to do other artistic things regarding your pets. See you next time. Extras. A good starting palette to have is cobalt blue, ultramarine blue, alizarin crimson, cadmium orange, titanium white, cadmium yellow, yellow oxide, burnt umber, and burnt sienna. Another good color is cadmium red for mixing other colors. If you have a dog that's all one color, outline the highlights, the middle tones, and the dark tones and use those three colors to fill in your outline or block painting.